I'm just surprised at the results. I just can't believe it. <laughs> and it motivates me to want to keep eating this way. So I'm really happy. Before it was 11.3 and now it's 6.8. It's like I have more energy now than I did. I would say try it. But once you try it and once you start seeing the results it has on you, you'll want to do it and you'll want to continue to do it. Um, I was feeling tired all the time, um, night sweats, and I would tell my mom about it and she's like, she basically told me, Kim, I'm not burying another child. Go to the doctor. And I went and when I got my results back and my A1C was 11.3, I just was like, I have to do something. So um, faith is very important to me. So that's when I was like praying and it was just, I came to mastering diabetes and I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to try it. After seeing the testimonials, I said, well, let me try it. What else could I lose? You know, except for be healthier. So that's how I found you guys. Um, when I first got diagnosed, they tried to put me on Bietta. Um, and I read all the, the little paperwork that came with it and all the different side effects. And it said that if you have history of pink, something with your pancreas, pancreatitis and everything that you shouldn't take it. Um, my grandmother, my mother's mother, she died of pancreatic cancer. So I was like, well, you know what? I'm not taking this stuff and I didn't take it. So they first put me on metformin but the metformin really messed up my GI tract. Um, it was to the point where I would have loose stools every day and I just didn't want to live like that either. And then not really understanding how powerful a medication that glipizide was at the time. Um, they had me on metformin 500 in the morning, 500 at night. And then they gave me 10 milligrams of glipizide that I was supposed to take with the metformin. And what happened was I didn't eat breakfast that morning and I took both of those medications. And then next thing you know, I'm shaking. I feel like I'm about to pass out. And then I take my blood sugar and it was 58. And so I was like, well, you know what? I'm not taking this stuff either. And pretty much that's when the denial started. And I was like, I'm not dealing with this. So I was like, well, if I don't acknowledge it, maybe it'll go away. I'm not accepting it. This isn't going to be my reality. And I just said, I'm not taking this stuff anymore. Stop going to the doctor. And pretty much for the last 10 years, just been winging it until I started feeling sick, tired. Um, I didn't have any energy. I basically would go to work and come home and then I'm in the bed. Um, even though I was eating, I was always hungry. So I ended up snacking at night, um, which would make me feel worse in the morning when I wake up. And just tired of not having energy. And then like I noticed changes in my skin, like I would get rashes that I never had before, itchiness. Um, I just was miserable. My hair would fall out. Um, it would never really grow. I was just miserable. Emotionally, I was just feeling bad. Um, at my heaviest, I weighed around 230, like I said, and I was wearing like a size 18, 20. Um, eventually, I was able to get down to a size 14. Since starting this um, program, I'm now down to a size 12. <laughs> Everything just keeps falling off now. <laughs> I have so much room in my clothes. It's like amazing. Um, I was just feeling bad about myself too. Like I couldn't believe, oh my gosh, I look like this. But now I can eat fruit and I'm just fine. And the fruit pretty much takes care of my sweet tooth. I can't wait till I adopt an exercise program. I don't know if I'm a walk or if I'm a buy a stationary bike. I haven't decided, but with me just losing weight the way I am now, I know once I start exercising, it's going to be an even more tremendous change. Um, 
And I tell everybody I know, even the providers at my job, when I told them, because everybody was waiting, they saw how I made the changes, like how I was eating. My nickname at work is Munch. <laughs> That's what they call me at work <laughs> because I was always eating something. And unfortunately, it was always bad. But now they're like, oh, we're going to have to call you Healthy Munch. And, and so everybody was waiting to see what my new numbers were going to be. And when I told them, they were like, they were in shock. They could not believe it. And um, they were like, well, we're going to need you to talk to the patients to get some of them to start eating this way because this is awesome. Now, I have so much energy that sometimes I stay up too late <laughs> and I don't get enough sleep. I have to like make sure I go to bed at a decent time because I'm never tired. <laughs> And I just can't believe it because now, well, this year I'm going to be 49. I gave my age away. But it's like I have more energy now than I did being younger and being heavier. And I can't. It's just awesome to be able. And like uh, my mental clarity has improved. I dealt a lot with fogginess. And it was 11.3 and now it's 6.8. Awesome. I like being able to see results because of the changes that I've made. It's just further motivation to keep going. Um, I could see myself eating like this the rest of my life. Like I'm not really missing meat per se. Um, at first it was a thing of like, oh, but fried fish is yeah, so man. good. <laughs> Um, especially whiting. I love whiting, um, even some crab legs, but now it's like, no, I would tell them they definitely need to try it. If they want to live healthy, if they value their health, value their family, because we have so many people connected to us that if we don't take care of ourselves, like, I used to have dreams of my son finding me dead in the bedroom. Like he would come to wake me up, but I wouldn't wake up. And I guess that's partially because I knew that my health wasn't where it needed to be. So if not for yourself, for those who are around you, those who love you and care about you, who would terribly miss you if something happened to you, I would say try it. But once you try it, and once you start seeing the results it has on you, you'll want to do it and you'll want to continue to do it. I don't regret changing the way that I'm eating. Around the same time I got diagnosed with the diabetes, um, I got diagnosed with uh, Paget's disease. Um, it's a bone disorder. Um, your bone cells reproduce at a higher rate and because they reproduce so fast, sometimes they don't have time to harden. So as you get older, your bones have a tendency to bend. Um, it also can lead to bone cancer also. Um, so when I first started from the baseline uh, blood work in January, uh, the liver enzyme that the doctors monitor for that disease, the highest it's supposed to be is 117. At the time when I got my blood work in January, my level was 933. When I went back and got my uh, recent lab work on May 4th, that level is now 794. So it's going down. Well, that's just another testimony of how eating this type of diet really can heal your body.